They didn't know what they were doing. They had killed monkeys in the preclinical work. I'm Paul Gelsinger, father of Jesse Gelsinger, the first known person to die in a clinical trial for gene therapy. Jesse was lean, a little at scrawny side. Took him to our uh, family physician and he recommended Jesse go on a high, higher protein diet. So we started giving him protein foods and within a few days, Jesse's behavior became very erratic. He went to sleep on us and, you know, we had trouble rousing him. We arrived at the hospital. Jesse was in a coma and it was about day six or seven. They came to us and told us what was wrong with Jesse. OTC deficiency involves the metabolic breakdown of uh, protein. And when our body breaks down protein, it produces ammonia in the blood. Uh, and ammonia is very toxic to the central nervous system. He, we had to limit his protein intake and he had to take um, a couple of different medications. He was doing okay physically. He was small. He was only five foot three, five foot four by the time he was 17 years old. Jesse was introduced to this clinical trial in September of 1998. It was a phase one clinical trial. We had a brief description of what they were doing. It was gene therapy, they called it. This was the University of Pennsylvania. It was the place where Jesse had been diagnosed. My hope was that this would lead to better therapies later on. It could benefit Jesse. I distrusted that they were doing the right thing and walked my kid right into this. Thing. He was infused on the 13th of September. Uh, we talked to Jesse later that evening. He said it had been, you know, really hard to be on a gurney for eight hours like that. And he wasn't feeling very well. He was starting to experience some side effects, which were expected. They were supposed to get f mild flu-like symptoms. Mickey and I both got to say uh, a very good goodbye to him and an I love you, and he said that back to us. I got that back from my kid. I love you too, Dad. And turns out those were my last words with my boy. I got a call the next morning very early, like six o'clock in the morning. They were having trouble with Jesse. I said, what's going on? I said, Jesse's get, getting jaundiced. He's, uh, his bilirubin's rising, his ammonia's rising. I said, do I need to get on an airplane? I said, hold on, we'll get back to you. And I got a call a couple, few hours later, about noon. And they said, Jesse's not doing well. You need to get on a plane and get here. The two doctors came to us and said, um, Jesse's vitals are all failing. And we recommend that we shut off life support for him because he's showing no brain activity. And they say, oh, God. <laughs> Mickey and I collapsed into each other. And we asked for time to get the family in. Um, and they all came back, and at 2.30, um, I gave the signal to the doctors it was time, and they clamped off the ECMO unit and shut off the respirator, and Jesse was gone within two minutes. <gasps> My boy, <laughs> doing the right thing. I thought they were telling me everything that was going on, but they were wrong. They killed animals in the preclinical work. It wasn't in the consent form. Everybody failed Jesse, even me. My kid paid the ultimate price. 